the car catching cool kids up in characters we covered and today we're talking about animals walking two by two into a giant boat because it's gonna rain and rain and rain and rain and rain and then the whole earth is gonna be full of water and that's not gonna be so good for anyone outside the boat Ooh, that was a nice song and actually a pretty good uh, sum up of what we discussed today. We're talking about Noah. Noah and, of course, God, who speaks to Noah and is continuing to be the main character in this story. And Noah is someone who listens to God and does what God tells him to do when God tells him to build this big old boat. Actually, when he built it, it was a big new boat. And that's pretty cool, too. And Noah obeyed God, which is great. And God was faithful to Noah. He kept him safe. He kept him safe. He took care of his family and he continued to work through his family to accomplish his plan over time. And when we think about what God did here, it's that God knew what he was going to do in the future and God spoke and worked in Noah's life to make a way for Noah and his family and ultimately the whole human race and more to be rescued. And it is awesome to think about how God knows and works and plans all things together to take care of his people. And saving this family on this ark with all these animals is absolutely amazing. Have I said amazing? Amazing. And while God isn't working in that same way today because he's promised not to flood the whole earth again, he does still rescue people in awesome ways. And we want to turn to our experts to hear a little more about that. Could you share a story of how God saved someone in an amazing way in your missions experience? Yeah, so, um, you know, talking about Noah and how God rescued him from the flood, the waters of judgment. Um, one time, Paul and I, when Paul was five years old, and maybe some of you are five years old, uh, we were on a tr we didn't have the right papers because we were missionaries and Russia doesn't give the right papers to missionaries but we had to travel out of the country to have some work done and so he and I got on a train uh, late at night knowing that we would cross over the border from Russia into Ukraine uh, in the middle of the night and I just prayed Lord please close the eyes of the guards and let them let us through and we got to the guard uh, got to the border the guards came on the train Paul was asleep and, and I gave them my passports and they flicked through and they stamped them and handed them back even though we were not properly documented that God just kind of got us through and we went on and we were safe and so we were thankful that God rescued us in that moment uh, from, from the guards. I've probably got several stories from the police officer standpoint. Um, not many can be shared specifically but I can promise you that, that God physically saved myself and several others that I know on several occasions and um, he uh, his uh, his promise is to to save not only our souls um, but if it's his will to save our save our lives save our bodies and um, save us from from troubles I um uh, that makes me think about a time more positively when we were in Shumerla, Russia. It was a little city about the size of Florence, actually, about 40,000 people, almost identical. And in that city, there was one church, one church of 30 people. And the pastor was the pa pastor uh, because he was the only person willing to volunteer to do it. No one else would do it. And he had just almost no education. He could barely read. And we came and we gave him some study materials. We gave him some training. And then I remember him looking at us and just saying, thank you, now I have something to feed my people. And in that sense, God was rescuing this, this pastor and this church, uh, not from the police or from death, but from ignorance, right? And from, mm -hmm. and from the need to, to be able, to, and from, from hunger, from spiritual hunger. And he was bringing them spiritual food that he could now feed his people. And so we've seen God rescue people like that many times from being spiritually hungry and providing them with the resources to feed their souls. 